And then I heard that. Oh, Corey, what? <laughs> what? Hello and welcome to another random person listening to random songs on YouTube. My name is Lauren and this is part three of the Slipknot Trifecta. Part three is Disaster Piece and I am afraid. I have a feeling early Slipknot was really intense. So I'm really nervous about this. I do have a picture of them from this era because I want to see what masks they were wearing when the song came out just out of curiosity. That's a lot to take in. I don't really have anything to say about it other than, wow, that's just a, that's a lot. <laughs> now that I have a visual, that's, that's helpful. Uh, if this is your first video with me, just know that I will be pausing the video frequently. So if that is something you hate, just leave now. Please excuse yourself, no hard feelings. I have to talk about what I'm hearing. I'm not just going to sit here and listen to a song. Before today, I have heard Slipknot songs. This is not my first Slipknot experience. So I have an idea of what to expect, but all of their songs are just so their own thing. I think I'm ready for this. I mean, I'm not, I'm actually not ready for this. Who knows, this might be better than uh, Nero Forte. This might even be better than Snuff. I don't think that's possible. I know that's not possible because Snuff is my favorite one and it will never be dethroned. I love that song more than I can express here in this video. And yeah, I guess that's it. I guess it's time. I can't, I can't put it off any longer. I love the title, by the way. And... Just over here. It's like it can't get started. Let's start in the car. It won't start. Oh! Now it's over here. Now it's everywhere. There's those drums! The signature mania. Those drums, what? <laughs> Corey Taylor, there he is. I like this. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> did he say what I think he said? Yeah, he did. Well, that's one of the most disgusting things I've ever heard. What? Oh. See, that just turns me off to the rest of the song. I was I was about to say that, that I really like this one more than the last one, actually. More than Orphan. And then I heard that. Oh, Corey, what? I'm going to push past that disturbing image. Try to get through the rest of this. That I sure hope that's the, the worst line in this. Because, I mean, that's the first line. I don't know if I can handle the rest of this. I'm keeping an open mind. I like the music part of it. It's that their signature manic everything. And the drumming, this is a different drummer, right? Than the current one. Or the one that was on their latest album, at least. But yet they all are good. So they must have a really strict screening process when it comes to finding drummers. I'm more afraid now to push the play button than I was before. Wow. That's that's just, yeah, that's what he said. That's that's what he said. Oh, I just read the second line. I don't know if, I, if he said that part yet. The second line. I'm not even going to say it out loud. I'm sure you know what it is. Okay, let's keep going. Corey, what, what are you? Drums, drums. Okay, let me say this with all due respect. I can tell 
that this is an earlier album. I feel like I'm listening to, I don't even know how to finish that. Like you could just tell. I don't know how to explain. Maybe you know what I mean, even though I'm not really saying anything. When you compare where they are now to where they came from, there's just so much growth there. Corey Taylor's voice now is so much better than what I'm hearing here. This song, aside from the first part that I'm going to forget I even heard ever in my life, uh, but this like noises, noises, people make noises, people make noises when they're sick. It's okay, but it's just sort of like, yeah, like a bunch of guys get together, they're full of hate and anger, and they're like, we're just gonna scream some stuff. Everyone's clicking away, everyone's thumbs down, thumbs down. Let's let's keep going. There's still a lot left of this song, so let's see what happens next. But it doesn't be what the fuck are you looking at? I tell you what you're looking at, everyone you have a fucking loud on. I'm not going to sit here and lie about it. I am not really feeling this one. I can still see the effort that went into it, what they're trying to say here. There was a line in here I really like. I'll tell you what you're looking at, everyone you ever laughed at. So like that, that's my favorite line so far. Before I stopped at the verse there, I just feel like Corey is sort of trying to find his voice. Like I'm not sure how to sing this. I don't really know what my signature sound is yet. It seemed more apparent in this verse, I think because there's he's trying so many different things in such a short amount of time. It's almost like he's practicing, like, how should I sing this verse? Let me just try a whole bunch of ways. But then they kept them all. I don't know. I don't know. My computer could not handle the disaster piece. It just totally froze. And so I had to just walk away. I took it as a sign. Maybe I should not be listening to this song. I don't know. But uh, I'm determined to finish this. So I even went the extra mile and re-listened to where I was. So let's get back to the disaster piece. the drums in here. Oh. Love the drums. Come on. Okay, that section I really like just because there wasn't as much singing in it. <laughs> um, you're in the middle of the disaster piece experience. It's been a few days since I filmed that video. I was listening to the song a little more, reading the lyrics a little more. I did not do it justice because I was just so distracted by the vocal that I missed a lot of the lyrics. And there was a line in here that I love so much that I had to come back out here. How does it feel to be locked inside another dream that never had a chance of being realized? I, I don't know how I missed that the first time. I'm upset that I missed that the first time, but I just wanted to point out that that is an awesome line. So despite the harsh exterior of this song, I think it does have some good lyrics hidden in there. So that's it. Back to the disaster piece experience. So let's get back to it. Uh... I ain't enough to describe me Somewhere between screaming and crying I'm not supposed to be I'm not supposed to be We know I get to know why I'm not supposed to be I'm not supposed to be I'm not supposed to be Away. I'm gone. Yeah. 
It actually sounds like Corey Taylor now. <laughs> like another song that's been put in here. <laughs> Okay, this is just so chaotic, like more so than their other ones. The other songs, it's sort of a controlled chaos, whereas this is just... <laughs> I I don't really know. I, I'm sort of at a loss for this one. I feel like I'm a raised line. That's good. My soul is missing. Let's get back to it. My eyes, I'm not about to pay. I'm not about to pay. Splatter and cry all the way. You won't let me fucking start. I'm not about to pay. I'm not about to pay. Is there another way to live? Because it's the only way to die. I'm not about to pay. I'm not about to pay. Is that like a mic drop? Like, like that's it. I'm out. Oh, okay. You probably picked up on the fact that I'm not really a fan of this. To me, this just sounds like a giant cry for help. I'm listening in on someone's breakdown. You could tell it just comes from a very personal place. And so I have to give the band a lot of credit for that, for being able to do that. At the same time, it almost sounds like just, you know, auditory teenage angst. You put a group of teenage boys together and be like, just let it out. This is what it would sound like. It's just a lot of pain. The drumming, of course, awesome. Always awesome. Usually I listen to all of the songs twice in my reactions so that I can just hear the whole thing without any interruptions. But honestly, I just don't really want to hear this again. I just, I mean, I think it has its place. I think this is a song that would resonate with people, certain people at a time in their lives. I'm just not one of those people. Needless to say, this has not made the Slipknot playlist. Sorry, Disaster Piece. I love the title. I think I have over Slipknotted myself today. I wonder if I had started with this one, if I would feel the same way. I don't know. Probably. Probably. So glad that I listened to it because I think it really shows how far they've come, how much they've grown. This concludes the Slipknot trifecta. Thank you to everyone who made some song suggestions for me. I will definitely be doing some more Slipknot songs. All right, that's all for me today. Thank you so much for watching these Slipknot videos, however many of them that you watched. And if you want to stick around for some more videos, you can subscribe if you want to, whatever you feel like doing. And maybe I will see you for another video.